November of 2011 when the Sandusky story hit the press. It was almost as if a plane had crashed in my community. Um, I live here in State College, which is a small, very bucolic town. Um, there are often um, problems here, but they're typically small and manageable. This was a catastrophe um, because it involved you know, the legacy of this university, the football program. Um, for me, though, the focus was always on the victims, always on the boys that were involved, now the young men. Um, and in many ways, I feel like I've been training for, for this case since, the, since I went to law school. The stories came to me first in a trickle and then in a torrent. I did my best to understand what they were going through. Um, and what they understood is that they had unconditional support for me that didn't just involve uh, money or a civil suit, but involved keeping them, in some cases, alive, um, keeping them um, focused, trying to get them healthy, getting them the support that they needed in the community. This case was really special, um, even against the context of the kinds of cases I've done for years, because the courage that these young men showed, not just in coming forward and speaking the truth to me, but the bravery and the courage they showed in taking the stand with their abuser just a few feet away um, in front of the, the, the world's press um, inspired me. Um, they inspired me um, to, 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 to take um, risks for them. They inspired me to fight for them um, every moment of every day, and they still inspire me.